But it looks nice. I gotta say, I kinda like the look of that. Oh dear lord, look at the price tag. Is that correct? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome to the Moto Mangi channel. It's raining outside today and cold here in Pennsylvania in January. So there's no riding motorcycles today. <laughs> it's pretty crappy out. Just another wonderful January day in Pennsylvania. Yay. Instead, I want to talk about Harley Davidson's 2023 lineup because just a few days ago now, as of me recording this, Harley released their 2023 lineup, had their press event with their video and everything for all their new bikes. And this is the 2023 is the 120th anniversary of Harley Davidson. So this is kind of a special year for them. They're having a big party in Milwaukee in July, I think it is, before Sturgis. But this year for their motorcycles, seven of the models have anniversary additions. So I'll show that too. Basically what I want to do is I want to go through all the bikes for 2023 from the point of view as, you know, as an ex Harley Davidson rider, because I rode Harley Davidson's for over 25 years. Yes, I now ride a Honda Goldwing, but I still love Harley Davidson. I love the brand. I love the motorcycles. I'm still interested in what they're doing. Uh, I look every year at the new bikes they have coming out to see what they did and what colors they have. And it's become like a annual tradition for me to look at Harley Davidson's new bikes and see what I like, what I don't like. <laughs> so today I'm going to film it because there's no riding motorcycle, but I'm going to go through their lineup and look at their, all the models they have and see what I like, what I don't like. And I want to know, like, if I still own my Rogue Glide Ultra, I had a, my last Harley was a 2016 Rogue Glide Ultra, but that was my seventh Harley that I ever owned. If I still own my Rogue Glide, what bike out of their new lineup would tempt me to trade my bike in for a new one? That's kind of what I'm looking at. So with that in mind, let's get started. All right, so I'll minimize my picture here in the screen and I'll show the Harley webpage. It goes down here and the first bikes in the lineup are the Sportsters. Now this year for 2023, they finally gotten rid of the classic Sportster, the Evolution Motor Sportster, which I don't like that as a Harley fan, but I understand why they have to do it because the Evolution Motor is old. Let's see, my second Harley Davidson was Evolution. My 93 Dyna Lowrider was an FXR that had the Evolution. And then my second Harley was a 98 Dyna Y Glide, which was also Evolution. And that was like 40 years ago? <laughs> well, no, let me think. 93 would have been like 30, almost 30 years ago, 25 years. Wow, wow, yeah, okay. So the Evolution motor is an old motor. Uh, it's not modern by any means. It doesn't pass emissions in, in most countries or any countries anymore, I guess. So they had to get rid of it. The Sportster lineup now includes, it's based on the Revolution Max frame platform, which is the same as the Pan America. Now, they only have three models. The Nightster, the Nightster Special, and the Sportster S. And while I like that they're putting the Sportsters on the Revolution Max platform, I don't care for any of these bikes. <laughs> Not really. The Nightster's okay. I don't like the exhaust on the Nightster. It's black for one. It's a two into one for another. It looks like a Yamaha Bolt to me. I think I wish I, I wish they had a more classic Sportster looking Sportster, you know, like a uh, chrome pipes, chrome dual pipes, chrome of any kind. Uh, here the Nightster has, Got two colors, the red and the black, but they're both blacked out, so there's no chrome. Very little paint, they're pretty much all black. Yeah, there is no chrome option for the, the Nightsters or the, the Sportster S is of course more of a performance looking bike. I really don't like the exhaust on the Sportster S. Not at all. It's just, it's not my kind of bike, it's not my style. Now I'm sure lots of people will like these three Sportsters on the, the Revolution Max platform, but I'm pretty sure a lot won't either because it's a very different style departure from what most people want in a Sportster. But I'm sure they ride great because the Revolution Max platform, the new platform, I, I test rode the Pan America and I love that Revolution Max motor. So I'm sure on a light sport oriented bike like these, they probably ride great. They probably are very, you know, high performance, wonderful handling and everything. But I just don't like the, I just don't like the styling of them. I, I wouldn't buy any of these. I'm really hoping the Harley Davidson broadens the new Sportster lineup, the new Revolution Max small bike lineup into a more traditional looking Sportster bike. But, you know, at least they have, at least they, they started. So 
there's that. Leaving the sports, let's go down to the cruisers. Now the cruisers are now all soft tails. There's nothing else in here. They're, all the cruising bikes are now soft tails. And that's good in my opinion because the new soft tail frame is fantastic. I love Harley's new soft tail frame. I think it rides better than their touring frame now, if I'm, be, if I'm being honest. I wish they would change the touring bikes to use a soft tail design as well. Single rear monoshock, uh, lighter, you know, chassis. I just, I, I, I like the new soft tail frame. I wish they would do that across the board for all the large bikes. But let's look at what they have here. We have the soft tail standard, street bob, fat bob. They all look very similar to me. Small styling changes pretty much, but the soft tail standard comes one color, vivid, vivid black, wow. I'm actually looking at the colors available here for these bikes. There's not a lot of, I think they cut down the color options, it seems to me, and they're all kind of dark colors too. Dark and, you know, black and gray and dark blue. The street bob looks nice. I, let, me look, let me look at that closer. I mean, it's a you know, small tank, so it's not gonna go far, but it looks good. Ooh, look at that paint job for the black. I like that. It's a good looking bike. I'm not a fan of the fork design, you know, the rubber boots over the shocks like that, but it's just not my kind of bike, not my style that I like. But, and again, it's all blacked out. There's no chrome available for the street bob. I like Chrome and Harley's, it's just, you know, I'm not a big fan of the blacked out Harley Davidson's. They do, blacked out looks good on certain models, like with all black, like black paint and blacked out, I think that can look sharp. But in general, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the blacked out look. The Fat Bob, I don't like the exhaust on that. I would never buy that. The Little Rider S, two colors, vivid black and white sand pearl. Again, it's a good looking bike, but it's blacked out, no chrome. Not something I would ever consider buying for myself. Now the Lowrider ST, that's the Lowrider with the mini fairing. I like the fact that they have a small, like a roguelite mini fairing they offer now. Uh, looks good from like a sport touring kind of setup or whatever. But again, it comes with two colors, vivid black and white sand pearl and everything blacked out, no chrome. And the fairing isn't, I don't particularly like the look of the fairing on the Lowrider ST. But I know a lot of people do, and I'm glad they offer it because it's a, it's a good idea. Having owned two Rogue Glides previously, I may have a bit of Rogue Glide bias, <laughs> Shark Nose bias, but... Now the Fat Boy, I've always liked the Fat Boy. I almost bought a Fat Boy instead of getting my hair to soft tail, my 2005 hair to soft tail, but... I think, see the Fat Boy, it comes with all chrome. It's got, you know, black, dark blue, and dark gray, like all the other bikes. Actually, the gray looks pretty good. It's a two-tone gray, I like that. Okay, the gray on the Fat Boy looks pretty sharp with the chrome. But here, this is one of the first bikes we come across now with the anniversary paint job. It's called Heirloom Red Fade. And the fat boy in this heirloom, in this 120th anniversary edition looks sharp. I like this a lot. I like the red contrasting the chrome. I really like the red inlays and in like the primary cover and the air cleaner. Ah, yeah, look at that. See, uh, the chrome, I mean, the gold wing emblem on the tank Actually, it looks good on the red. I kind of I like that, actually. I'm not a big fan of a lot of gold on Harleys, but a little bit like this in subtle measures is, is okay, I think. Yeah, I really like the Fat Boy for this year, especially in this anniversary edition. <laughs> like, I would never trade in my gold wing for this because the gold wing is a touring bike and I like riding long distance. But if I wanted a second Harley Davidson to have alongside the gold wing, this Fat Boy is one that I would consider. I would like, uh, it looks sharp. I like that a lot. Oh, look at the breakout. Let's look at that breakout closer up. Okay. Now that's a sharp looking Harley Davidson. I even like it in that orange color. Ah, oh, damn, wow. I might like that better than the Fat Boy even. Uh, let's see, what color is it? It goes in black, of course. Oh, I like that paint job in black. I like that. That's a classic looking tank design. I like that a lot. Oh, it looks good in the silver too. Atlas silver metallic. But this orange color is what I really like. That's a sharp Harley Davidson. Okay, the breakout's cool, I like that. Between the breakout and the fat boy, if I wanted a second bike, uh, Harley for a second bike, one of those two would be on my list to consider. I, I'd have to ride them both. But, the hair just soft tail. I'm afraid to look at this up close because out of all seven of my, Harley, my previous Harley Davidsons I owned, my 2005 hair just soft tail may be my favorite Harley I ever owned. I love the Rogue Glides, I'm partial to the Rogue Glides because as a touring bike, Rogue Glides are great, but in some ways, I enjoy my 2005 Heritage Softail 
more than my road glides even. Now here, see the hair just well, all blacked out now. The, the black, I hate how they have the, the half of the windshield blacked out. I want to see through the windshield. I mean, that's the whole point of having it there. I don't need it blacked out. I, don't, I hate that. But what they have down here, you know, the Heritage has a chrome version and a blacked out version. You see, in chrome it looks much better in my opinion. And there you get the clear windshield as a Heritage soft tail should be in my opinion. But I'm not caring for a black. Eh. The silver is all monotone. It's one color. I'm not crazy about that. Now, the blue and silver, bright billiard blue and billiard gray, two-tone, that's a good hair to soft tail color. Now, my hair to soft tail had, the bags were different. They were soft bags with the studs all around them. Nowadays, the hair to soft tails come with, they're hard bags, but they're covered in fake leather or whatever, so they look soft, but they're actually hard. But they do lock now, so that's a, that's a good thing. But they're smaller also, so you can't, the best thing about my hair to soft tail with the soft bags is that you could stuff it full of stuff and it would expand and move to whatever size and contortions you needed it to. These bags don't, so they're much less useful. They probably are more waterproof though and they probably hold up better, so trade-offs I guess. This also comes in the anniversary edition. So here's the hair to soft tail on the 120th anniversary and I really like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's, I even like the reddish leather parts on the seats. I mean, it's not leather, of course, but whatever. I like that. Okay, if I was gonna buy a Harley Davidson as a second bite to go alongside the Goldwing, right here, that's what I get. This is my primary choice right now. This would be my number one pick. It'd be an expensive second bike, of course. That's a lot of money. $21,199. $21, and then you gotta add 1500 for the anniversary color. So, you know, it's not a cheap bike. My hair is soft tail. I paid in 2005, I think I paid 16,000 for it. Probably, I think it was somewhere around 16,000. New. <laughs> They're a little more expensive now than they were in 2005. But man, that's sweet. Oh, that Heritage soft tail looks sharp. Yeah, that's, that's, I like that. Now, if I had my Road Glide, if I still own the Road Glide, would I trade it in for this bike? Yeah, you know, the Road Glide, I love the Road Glides. They were great for touring. But I went coast to coast on my heritage. I, I rode my heritage you know, 50,000 miles before I traded it in. Coast to coast at least once or twice, out to the Midwest a few times, up and down the west, the east coast. I toured on that heritage soft tail a lot and I did, never had a problem. In fact, the seat on the heritage soft tail was probably the best Harley seat I've ever owned. It's like you sat in the bike, not on the bike. It was very comfortable. I know they've changed the seat. I don't know if this is as comfortable or not as the heritage soft tail seat I had, but would I trade my Road Glide in for one of these? If I still had it? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, maybe. I'd put a uh, sissy bar on the back for deer, a backrest. But yeah, that, uh, maybe I would. Yeah, that, that looks sharp. I, I, that, yeah, maybe. <laughs> As I stammer here and stutter. Ah, whatever. Next bike. Okay, we'll go on. After the cruisers are the Grand American Touring, which is the Touring Frames. And here you have the Road Glides, the Street Glides, the Road Kings. Or Road King Special. Where's the Road King Standard? No, they didn't get rid of the Road King Standard, did they? Maybe it's an option here under the Road King Special. There's no windshield. Did they really get rid of the Road King Standard? All the Road King now is all blacked out with no windshield on it? That can't be true. They, the Road King Standards is one of Harley's Best bikes, in my opinion. I thought they were very popular. I thought they sold well and everything. Why would they get rid of that? Yeah, I don't care for that. I don't want, I mean, maybe they'll bring out the Road King Standard as a mid-year model. Maybe that's coming later. Oh, people are gonna be upset about that. I don't like that. Oh, well, Road Glide. See, just three colors. Red, black, and gray. Silver, Atlas Silver. Street Glide, Road King Special. No Road King Standard, wow. Road Glide Special. Now this also comes in the Anniversary Edition, I believe. So let's look at that. See, I, I had, both of my Road Glides were Road Glide Ultras. Good, they still have the chrome on it too. So you can get it chromed or blacked out, whichever way you want. See, the Road Glide looks sharp in that same blue-gray paint job that the Heritage looked good in. I actually like that paint job on the, on the Road King, on the, the Road Glide. And here are the blacked out colors. Oh, I like that. The Industrial Yellow, yellow Vivid Black. See here? This is one example of a Harley that looks good blacked out, in my opinion. With the black and yellow two-tone paint and the all blacked out, I'd probably still prefer to have it chrome, personally. But that looks all right. 
I, li I like the look of that. My first Harley Davidson was a 76 Sportster, an old shovel head that was originally red, but when I bought it, I restored it and re re redid it from the frame up because it was in bad shape. And I put on a larger gas tank and changed all the, the fenders and stuff because they were all rusted and crappy. This is how my first Harley looked for many years. Actually, up to the point I sold it to a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine from high school, he bought it off me and he kept it. Last I know, last I heard, he still was riding it, looking exactly like pretty much how I sold it to him. Last I heard, my sports was still kicking around, <laughs> looking the same, looking like this. Now here, this is the Rogue Glide Special in the anniversary colors. It's blacked out, it's not chrome. That's my only problem with this. But it looks all right, it looks good. I think the Heritage Softail looks better in the anniversary colors than this does. That's my opinion, but this looks all right. Would I trade in my Rogue Glide for this bike? No. I like the Rogue Glide Ultra. I like the Tour Pack. It's super handy. It's so useful. And I wouldn't want this blacked out stuff on the Rogue Glide either. I'd like the Chrome. But it looks good. I'm not going to say it doesn't. That should, that should sell very well. Let's see. Street Glide Special. That does not come in the anniversary colors. I thought that would have. Oh, no, it does. There it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, because the Street Glide is so popular. They have to have that. Yeah, that looks, that looks the same. Looks as good as the Rogue Glide. The Rogue Glide looks better in my opinion because I'm partial to them, but I'm a little partial to shark noses. <laughs> but this looks all right. It's not bad. My brother would like this. He liked the Street Glides. I like the Rogue Glides. We had a constant battle <laughs> for which was better. Now I own a Goldwing and my brother owns a Pan America, so no more Rogue Glide versus Street Glide battles. But now the Rogue Glide Limited. This is the bike I had. The, the, they used to call it the Ultra, now they call it the Limited. I always look to see what colors they offer on, because this is what I had. Oh, oh, it's blacked out. Okay, wait, let's go back to... Again, this is offered in both chrome and blacked out versions. The blue, silver, two-tone chrome on the Rogue Glide Limited looks sharp. I like that. Mine was red, a two-tone red. Uh, both my Rogue Glides were red, actually. My, the first one was Merlot Sunglow red. The second one was a two-tone like laser red and some other kind of red. I forget what it was, but I'll show a pic. I'll put a picture over here showing my the last Harley I owned, my 2016 Rogue Glide Ultra. Looked good. I like the paint job mine had, but this looks good too. I don't care for the Rogue Glide Ultra in blacked out. Although all black, it doesn't look terrible. That, that's kind of very Knight Rider-ish. <laughs> that's okay. I'm not against that. That looks okay. Oh, now that. Prospect Gold Vivid Black Finish. With the blacked out, huh? Oh, wow. That looks okay. <laughs> I keep saying I don't like the blacked out Harleys, but uh, I found a few here that I have liked so far. That's okay. I'm not against that. Wow, look what they cost now. $29,399. And you add $37.95 for this paint job. What is the blue and 1800 for the blue and chrome, blue and gray? Wow, that's $34,000. See, my last, my 2016 Rogue Light Ultra Limited, whatever, I only paid $23,000 new for that. <laughs> that's an $11,000 price difference in only a span of six years? Seven years? Dang, wow. That's a lot of money. Wow. Okay, that looks good in the black and yellow, black and gold with blacked out. Would I trade that in for my Ultra, for my Rogue Light if I had today? Yeah, possibly. I, I, I might. I kind of like that, actually. Would I go with the blue and gray or the yellow and black? Gold and black? I'd probably pick this color right here. I'd, I'd pick this. One has got chrome, not blacked out. Two, it's cheaper. I'd probably go for this. I don't know. I'd have to see it in person, probably. <laughs> Let's go with that. And then we've just got the Street Glide ST, the Rogue Glide ST. They don't come in any colors, just black and white. The Ultra Limited comes in the Anniversary color. You know what? The Rogue Glide Ultra doesn't come in the anniversary color. I just noticed that. That's surprising to me. See how popular they are. Here it will be. Oh, this is a different color. Wow, that's quite a red. That's red. I haven't seen that red on any other bikes for 2023 yet. This is the first time I've seen that red on these on the lineup. Wow. Here's that same blue and gray, blue and silver. Now here, yeah, the, the anniversary color wasn't offered on the Rogue Glide Limited. Wow, that's surprising to me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like the anniversary scheme for this year. Nice job. It looks good. I would never buy a Ultra Limited. I'd rather get a Rogue Glide because the Rogue Glides ride better, in my opinion. As a Shark Nose fan, it's just, you know, <laughs> that's the way it is. <laughs> oh, wait, here. CVO Rogue Glide. I guess that's 
why they don't offer the anniversary paint job in the Roguelite Limited because they have it here for the CVO. So you got to buy the CVO to get the anniversary Roguelite. That looks, that's an interesting looking paint job. It looks very old fashioned, almost like 80s looking almost the way that they have it done. I'm not against it. But CVOs are, you know, I wouldn't want a CVO. I'm not a, I don't need that kind of performance or anything on a Harley. But it looks nice. I gotta say, I kind of like the look of that. Oh dear Lord, look at the price tag. Is that correct? $51,999? No. Are those, is, that what, is that what CVOs cost nowadays? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. My, my Tesla Model Y long range costs that. Here. Model Y purchase price. $52,990. Okay. A brand new Tesla Model Y long range costs a thousand dollars more than a CVO Roguelite Limited. Wow, that's not like that. That's a lot of money for a motorcycle. Jeez. Criminy. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I can say it doesn't, but that's too much money for a motorcycle. Wow. I wonder how many of those they'll sell. Probably everyone they can build, probably. People will buy them up. Rich people will buy them up. That's expensive. Wow. I would not trade my Rogue Lightning for that. I couldn't afford it. <laughs> I mean, I could afford it, but I wouldn't pay it. The, uh, that, I, I, oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of money for a motorcycle. No. I keep my 2016 Rogue Light if I still had it. Or I'd buy a standard one. Adventure Touring, the Pan Americas. No changes for this year for the Pan America except for the colors. I do. Uh, so it's yellow and white this year. My brother has the blue and white from last year. And the first year was the orange and white. I think I prefer the other two colors over this year's. I mean, the yellow looks all right. It looks all right, but the black and gray, so no green this year. Yeah, that looks okay, but I like the colors from the previous years better. But it's not bad. Pan America is an awesome bike. I mean, it rides. Actually, honestly, if I still had my Roguelite Ultra, by this point, I might have traded it in for a Pan America, in all honesty, because my brother, my brother owns one now, and we both test rode him before he bought his. I really, really, really like the Pan America. Like, even for touring, I think it would be a, a great bike. It was so comfortable and had great features and great tech on it. And just, plus you can go off road. I mean, who, I mean, what the heck? But, but I, don't, I don't care for that yellow color, so I wouldn't buy it this year. I wouldn't trade my bike in for it this year. Unless I got the black or the gray, but. Here come the trikes. So the freewheeler, I'm not a big trike fan. I mean, I understand they're popular, people love them. They sell well, so that's good. Oh, they have a road glide trike. That's new. People have been asking for this for a long time. Yeah, that looks good. If I ever did buy a trike, this is what I get. This, this, this would be it. It's black, gray, and blue. I'd get the blue. I mean, I wouldn't trade my road glide in for a trike, but if I had to, if I, if I was going to get a trike, this is what I get. They're going to sell a ton of these. $33,000. Actually, that sounds... The Roguelite Limited was twenty was almost was thirty thousand dollars. This is only three three grand more. Ooh, that sounds like a low price for it actually. And that's it. There's no new live wire bikes this year. Nothing new for the electric lineup for Holly Davidson. Uh, the icons, nothing new yet for them. Now, uh, the president of Harley, Zeist or whatever his name is, I think it's his name, he said that they're gonna have new mid year models this year. So they're gonna come out with probably some more models in the middle of the year. Maybe they'll give more models the anniversary paint job, or maybe that the Road King Standard will come out in the middle of the year, because I can't believe they got rid of that. So that's the lineup. Out of all of them, which one would I possibly trade in my Rogue Glide if I still had it? Either the Rogue Glide Limited for that blue, or that, 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 that yellow, that golden black, I like that. But now I'd probably go with the Heritage. That's what I'd probably do. If I was gonna trade in my Rogue Glide for a new Harley this year, it'd be the Heritage and the Anniversary paint job. The Heritage Classic, that's what I get. That looks, that's, I like that. That's my favorite Harley this year. If I wanted a second bike next to the Goldwing, I'd definitely get this. Although the Breakout looks, I do like that Breakout. That Breakout's pretty sharp. I have to ride them to be sure, but I love my Heritage, so I would probably get the Heritage again. Cause it'd be a bigger engine, a six speed, you know, with the new Softail frame that rides better than the old Softail frame did. Well, that's my review of Harley's lineup for 2023. Overall, the colors are kind of lacking this year. 
they've been Harley's had some dark drab colors for the past couple of years. They haven't had much to the way of bold, vivid colors like they used to. They go on more of the dark route. I don't care for that, but they've got a few nice colors. The anniversary paint job is good this year. I like that a lot. But you know, I keep hoping for them to, to expand a sports lineup with the new Rev Max platform. And this year, they didn't do it yet. Not enough. Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. If you have any questions, post them down in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Harley's lineup for this year, if you care to. And thanks for watching. Hopefully, I get to do more riding videos soon because it's the weather, you know. We could use nice weather here in Pennsylvania if you want to send some our way. Thanks for watching. See you later. Take care. Ride safe.